Y'all remember my video about three weeks ago getting control of a neglected greenhouse? Well, I pretty much got control of it. But um, how much weight is too much weight for my support system on my tomatoes? That much weight is too much weight. Got a lot of work to do. Got a little rain. Needed it really bad. The, gar the garden is really dry. But uh, I showed you uh, what happened in my greenhouse. And uh, I tied everything up. But while I was in there, I noticed uh, a little hornworm problem. This, when you have over 100 tomato plants, is a little hornworm problem. The lizards are going to eat good tonight. My water dragon and my bearded dragon are going to be very happy, happy, happy. Here's just some of the damage that was done when my support system collapsed you see it's broken here and it's broken here there's several places along here where this uh, when it when the support system came down it just snapped the tomato vines uh, I've, I've strung it up temporarily until these tomatoes are are done and I'm going to Make build a new structure from the ground up instead of suspending it from the purlin. That's just too much weight to be hanging on that purlin, I think. So uh, I want to get that done. But I wanted to give you an update, let you know most of it's okay. My problem now isn't the support system. It's this. Uh, you've seen the destruction from the tomato hornworm before, I'm sure. If you look up there on that tomato, he's actually eating the tomato right there. Big guy. And this one here, he's eating over there. And there's one over there on top of that leaf there. Um, I've got to get these guys out of here. You saw the ones I showed you earlier. That was from the night before. I missed these. And when you miss them, it doesn't take long if you got that many of them in one little section to have uh, some leafless tomato plants and some chewed up tomatoes. Lizard food. There's something else I wanted to tell you. Uh, these rascals are really hard to find. It's easy to find the evidence, but it's hard to find the tomato hornworm. And the best time to look for a tomato hornworm is in the morning, early morning, when it's just sun's just coming up, not as much glare. They stand out a little bit better than they do um, during the heat of day. They also are more active in, in the evening and early morning hours. You can see them move. Um, they do sense when you're around and they'll stand really still but you can still see them and if you look that little guy he's he's hiding and they, they try and look a lot like a curled up leaf and blend in with the actual stem but you see he's just hanging on there he's got a leaf in his mouth that uh, whole stem would be gone in no time you see, I got, I've got several more. This is the second batch this size that I pulled out of here in two days. Uh, there is also, I don't know if you can see that little guy on the bottom. That is a fruit caterpillar of some sort. I forgot what they call them, but anyway, uh, they eat tomato leaves as well. They don't quite do the same kind of damage that a hornworm does, but... Um, I gotta get them. This guy here, and 
give them to my water dragons and uh, head to work god bless go plant some dirt there's excuse me there's some more damage over there i'm sure there's another hornworm in that area too we'll see you next time